This is Minecraft, but you get more scary? Today I'll be turning so scary that it'll even scare the nose off villagers. From having a terrifying face, to turning into a horrific creature, to ultimately morphing into he who shall not be named, my goal is to become as scary as possible, but as my fright level gets higher, people around me might stop being friendly. So, what happens if I try to scare the dragon? And what's behind the mask? Stay tuned to find out. So this is me at 1% scary. I'm beautiful! And our goal today is to get to 100% scary, where we have challenges like the one right there, which is talk to villager. Gonna get that's the villager right there. By the way, the entire village is decorated. And even the villagers have costumes. All right, let's talk to the villager. How's it going? Try scaring me. Press K to use your scare ability. Oh, so I'm gonna guess we got a scare ability now. So without further ado, do I just press this? Oh, oh, that works. Yo, okay, so now we can scare mobs. And uh, Buddy just kind of got knocked out. Oh, and he dropped a candy basket. Okay, I'm gonna guess we need this later. And so what am I supposed to do with this guy? Do I right click him? Right click? Oh. I, 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 I've scared his nose off. Okay, so now we got villager nose, and the main thing I was looking for is the potion of scary, which I'm gonna guess is what makes us go up in scariness. So without further ado, let's right click that, and scariness increase, and oh, okay, yep, I am uh something else right now. So this is gonna be 15% scary, and now our mission is to try trick or treating. Oh, that's what the candy basket is for. Okay, so I'm gonna guess I'm gonna go into each house and then knock, and then we just trick or treat. Am I supposed to scare them? Oh, and I'm gonna guess I gotta ring the door. Trick or treat. Oh. Hello, villager! It's Halloween already? Already then. Give me a scare. Oh, okay. I think I'm supposed to scare this guy. All right. Here goes nothing again. And scare! Oh, that works! Oh, and he's knocked out too. Um, okay. Let me take that. And now we got a candy carrot. Can I eat it? Or what, what do I do with this? Oh, right click. Oh, and so that's gonna be one out of 15 candy. Okay. I got the gold now, so I guess we gotta get all the candy in the world. All right. So where do I trick or treat now? Oh, wait. What? What is this? Please take one. Oh, is it one of these type of things? So I just like grab some? Oh, I, I, I took two. Wait, how many can I grab? Can I look and grab all of them? Okay, okay, don't don't mind me. I'm just gonna grab as many as we can. And you can't take any more. And so now we got six candies. All right, let me go to grab all those. And that's gonna be seven done. All right, where is another house I could trick or treat then with? Oh, wait, maybe I can get some from the friendly goal, apparently. Hey there, trick or treating? I've never heard of it. I'm supposed to give you candy? Oh, one second. I'll only give you this if you scare me. Oh, and he has the candy. All right, let's do this again. And go on, scare. Oh, <laughs> and he <laughs> runs away. No. So let's go to right click those candies. And now we got the message saying maybe a house can be scared. Wait, wait, wait. Are we scaring an entire house? How does one scare a house? And which house can I even scare? Oh, wait. Could that be the house right there? Scare? Gone! Oh, wait. It kind of worked. Find another way. Maybe it's scared of mobs. Oh. Okay, if the house is scared of mobs, what mob would work? Wait, maybe I could scare a mob and get it. Before we do that, though, let's get some wood. Now we should be good. Oh, and there's the mob I need. Okay, so I was thinking of Creeper because Creeper explode houses. So do I just go up to them and scare them? Scare? Oh, that worked. So we scared the Creeper to become an item now. And now I guess let's see if we can place it in front of the house. Now, here you go. Oh, it worked. Yes. Oh, wait, why does it have legs? And now that the house is running away, it led to some candy carrots, which is actually going to be the last five ones we need. So let's go to right click those bad boys. And there we go. We get some fireworks. And from that, we get the next part potion of scary. And now let's drink again. And there we go. Scariness increase. And now we're 30% scary. Wait, well, why is it shaking? Huh? Oh, wait, is that a hiccup? Huh? Follow the sound of that hiccup. Okay, before we get to that, let's show what we got. Here we go. And oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it is actually starting to get scary. My goodness. <laughs> but let's head towards that hiccup, which is literally shaking my screen. Holy, it must be a big hiccup. Oh, it's coming from here. I'm going to guess the guy inside. Hello? Hello, mister. How are you doing today? Doing some scaring? If you are, Think you could help me get rid of my hiccups? I was getting out of the village because of how annoying they are. I can't go back unless I get rid of them and nothing has worked. I'm, I'm trying to do hiccups myself and it's not working out. Okay, so I'm gonna guess I gotta scare him. All right, let's try the scare ability one more time. So here we go in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, oh, it did nothing. Is that you? Got? And now it says lots of villagers are afraid of heights. Oh, wait, can I pick you up if I right click you? Right click. Oh, it worked. Yes. Okay, follow me, buddy. Okay, so it says afraid of heights. So let's give him a good old scare by bringing him maybe to the top of a mountain. Oh, and I have an idea. What if we stack straight up from the top of the mountain? Oh, this is the spot, guys. Okay, let's stack all the way up real quick. Don't worry, Miss Villager. We're gonna go as high as we can. I'm literally just gonna go to the top of the limit and then we'll stack all the way down. Okay, few more areas. Let's make sure we don't fall off here ourselves. I guess since he's afraid of heights, to get rid of your hiccups, let's push you off. All right, don't worry, man. It's gonna work. Bye! Oh, and down he goes! Oh, oh, those are angry particles, and did he die or did he live? Let's go down real quick and find out. Okay, let's go see if he's alive. He made it! 
it? Yes. All right. Hey, Kipping Villager. Do you still have your hiccups? How's it going, man? What was that for? I'm not uh, scared of heights. And it didn't work. Oh, gosh. Okay, what are we supposed to do now, then? The dark tends to be scary. Oh, okay. Let me pick you up again. Where are you? <gasps> Taking me now. We're gonna go somewhere a little bit dark. Let's go down in the caves and see if we can get him in the dark. Okay, I think this is pretty much as dark as it gets. And I guess now let's just place him down. And he says, it sure is dark in here. And so now I have a little bit of a plan of making it even darker. Because I don't think it's worked yet. So there's nothing darker than literally going into like a one by one in Minecraft. So let me put you down there. And that should be dark enough. All right, buddy. Did that work? I can't <gasps> see anything. But sadly, Hiccup's still here. All right, at this point, like what, what is this guy afraid of? Do I talk to him again? Hello? What am I scared of? I don't <gasps> know. I do know that for some reason in my nightmares, I always hear a soft moo <gasps> sound. Maybe they're scared of cows. Okay, I can get you a cow, I think. Let's real quick yet again get you out of here and let's find you some cows. One sec. Okay, this should do the trick, I think, and we can finally get a little bit more scary. So, okay, where is the entrance inside? All right, buddy, you might not like this, but we're gonna get rid of those hiccups. Let's put you down and where are we? <gasps> Let me close the door and oh, there it goes. Oh, <laughs> expect that to happen. Okay, th thank you, Mr. Cow. And he might be crying and angry, but did the hiccups go away? What the heck was that? Wait, it worked. Thank you. I can go back to the village. And so with that being done, we get the next potion of scary, and I think we're good. All right, I guess again, let's get even more scary and see what happens with this. Drink up, scariness increase, and now we're 40% scary. Where, what did I become? Oh, what the heck? I now have a bunch of arms coming off of me. Seems like there's something going on near the village. Follow the path into the woods. Oh, wait, now we gotta go to a haunted house. All right, I guess I'll start going that way. Oh, what the heck is that? That's huge. Okay, don't mind me adding all the way to the purple thing, and hopefully this gets us a little bit more scary. Okay, so this must be the haunted house. Help, wanted. Oh, okay, so I might be getting hired. What's up, man? Yo, that costume is sick. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, let's say it's a costume. Sure. You here for the haunted house? Sorry to tell you this, but our scare actor decides to quit on us. I'll have to cancel the event. What? You'll be the scare actor? Hmm, I don't know. You don't seem that scary. What do you mean? Oh, wait, maybe I'm supposed to scare him with ability. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh, dang, holy. I'm actually low-key getting really scary. Jeepers, you're scarier than I thought. You know what? You're hired. Oh, I think we got the job. Nice. Think you could help me set up a few decorations before we get started? Oh my gosh, I did so many things. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to just put these around the house then. All right, I guess let's put these guys around. Why not? Gotta put the fake bats, of course. Uh, gotta get some people scared. Maybe a skeleton skull right there. Uh, maybe one right there. And as for all the jack-o'-lanterns I have, I have a little bit of an idea. We're just gonna do this. It's gonna be a big wall of jack-o'-lanterns. Maybe it'll come to life. Probably not, but that's the best I can do. Big wall of jack-o'-lanterns. I, I think we're good. All right, Mr. Manager guy, did, did not do good. Now we need to attract some people. See if you can find someone to help make a bulletin board for us in the village. Oh, wait, a bulletin board. Okay, well, I guess let's go do some marketing then. All right, well, let's go back to the village. Oh, I think it might be this guy. All right, uh, let's go buddy. Engineer, you need a bulletin for a haunted house? I didn't say that, but sure, why not? I'll need a few things though. Coal and redstone and about 16 of each. Bring them to me. Okay, so we gotta bring him coal and redstone now. Uh, don't have either, so I guess we gotta go mining. So one sec. All right, we got some coal. That should be pretty straightforward. Don't mind me. And to make mining the coal a little bit easier, let's get some iron too. Okay, let me grab that real quick. Get an iron pickaxe. And now we can grab some redstone. Real quick, let me grab that. That's gonna be four. And so let's get the rest. All right, we got everything we need. All right, here you go. Take all the coal you need. And now with the redstone, do we just straight up get a billboard? Perfect, these'll do fine. You ready to witness engineering magic? Oh, and he just made it pop up. And so now we have a big old billboard in Minecraft saying haunted house. So scary, you'll pass out. Oh, wait, people are interested. Oh, it's working. Yo, nice. All right, since it's working, Let's go back to the manager and see if we're good to go. All right, Mr. Manager, we got the billboard up. We'll be starting soon. I'll need you to scare our customers. The first part, I'll need you to chase them from the living room to one of the bedrooms. When you get to the bedroom, you need to scare them. Then you'll need to chase them out of the house. Remember, if no one passes out, you didn't scare them properly, huh? Okay, let me get in position then. Oh, wait, are they coming inside? Oh, wait, they are. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just hide for now. Okay, are they just kind of vibing inside? I'm gonna guess this might be my moment. All right, we're going in. Scare! Oh, it worked! Look at them go! Okay. Okay, where do they go now? Oh, okay, so I'm gonna guess I gotta do another jump scare. Okay, let's pop out. And here we go again. Oh, and they're gone. Okay, room to room. Oh, wait, we can use the pumpkins. Okay, so it looks like they're all the way over there. So do I just like walk up to them and scare them again? Here we go. And 
scare again. Oh, no. Okay. All right. The rest of them are running away. Don't know where they're going. Oh, oh, they are leaving. And we may have knocked out one of the villagers. Let me go talk to the manager real quick. We might have a little bit of a problem. The guy's knocked out. Five customers went in. Right. Why are there only four out here? You left one inside? Oh, no. We have a... Oh, no. Go get them. I was joking about the passing out part. Wait, what? Oh, gosh. Okay. Why are they not supposed to pass out inside? Oh, wait. What the heck is that thing? Is that part of the haunted house? Save me, says the villager. And apparently we have a scary clown inside. Okay. All right. We got to fight this guy then. Buff big old clown. I am not a big fan of clowns. Never have been. Let's just take this guy down. Okay. Okay. You know what? When in doubt, let's get out the villager nose, which apparently we can shoot it at him. Go on, nose. Oh, go on. They do so much damage. And down he goes just like that. And from that, we get a flower. Nice. Oh, and the villager says, thank you. Hey, no problem, buddy. All right. Uh, probably get out the mansion now. But the main thing we were going for was the potion of scary. Before we use that though, well, what was this? Gag flower? Oh, I can shoot water. Nice. Okay. Now for that though, let's get out and yet again, drink another potion of scary. All right, real quick, right click, scariness increase, and now we're 50% scary. How do we look though? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, that is, uh, <laughs> it's getting a little bit extreme. My goodness. A sound is coming from a nearby cave. Oh, gotta guess we're gonna go to that now. And uh, Mr. Manager, it was great working with you, but I quit. Okay, so I guess we're going that way now. Here it is. Okay, cave of terror. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, What the heck is going down there? All right, let's get our sword ready just in case. But if we're gonna get scarier, are we scaring something down here? Oh, wait, what the heck is that thing? Okay, let me real quick do a little bit of parkour. Don't worry, I have like eight legs now, though, so we should be good. And uh, do I talk to him? The giant zombie won't budge. Try scaring it awake. Oh, that should be easy. All right, here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Oh, and that did nothing. That didn't work. Maybe make the cave scarier. Oh, okay, so I guess I gotta decorate the area then. Now with the brand new craft on the screen, which is gonna be the bat prop. All right, all it needs is coal, actually. So we don't actually need to go mine anything since we can go ahead and craft it like this. All right, let's get some bat props right there. Six should be good. And so now let's go ahead and I guess put them around him. All right, one there, one here. There we go. Oh, and we can do some cobwebs too. Hold up, there we go. Not really sure if it's gonna work at all, but if it doesn't, it was worth a try. All right, does it work now? Oh wait, not enough yet. Try scaring some cave spiders. Oh wait, maybe I can make the cave spiders. I think I can place down like the creeper. All right, where's the cave spider though? Oh wait, that might be one right there. Let me go up to this guy right here. And let's get something to spawn. Oh, it's spawned. Okay, let's give it a scare. Oh, no, it worked. Oh, no, it's going all the way up, though. Oh, wait, no, we have some more here. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just doing some scares. Okay, three cave spiders. That should be good. So now that we scared those cave spiders into our inventory, let's see if we can place these guys down. All right, one right there, one right there, and that should be good. Okay, can I wake you up now? Do I right click? Oh, try waking up the zombie up with an anvil. Oh, that makes sense now. Okay, let's then go get some iron, and then we can slam him with the proper anvil. Oh, gosh, wait, we're gonna find some iron. Can I find some here? Oh, Robert's water. How's it going, guys? Let me take you guys down real quick. Break you. We got the literal spawner from that, but what we need is the iron ingots. Let me grab you guys. That's gonna be nine. And now let's get some more. Okay, now that we got the iron, let's real quick make an anvil. And so now we just place it on top of the guy. All right, here we go. Let me real quick place the wood there. And so if we place the anvil right here, this should technically wake him up. All right, here goes something in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, it worked. That woke it up, but now it's just mad. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yep, we have a bit of a problem now. Oh, we got stuck in the cobweb zone. Yes, the plan kind of worked. Uh, spiders, are you guys gonna do anything? Nope, they look like they do absolutely nothing. Okay, my goal was to scare this guy, so let's real quick get him down low in health, and maybe then I'll let me scare him. Oh, gosh, when in doubt, guys, let's use the flower. Go on, get flower. Oh, it does so much. Oh, and down he goes. Oh, and it says now, scare it now. Okay, here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Did it work? Oh, gosh. Wait, what the heck is this? He's stuck in the rocks. The treasure room is unguarded. Oh, I think the screen made rocks fall. Okay, well, Buddy's kind of stuck there. So, uh, you know what? Like and subscribe to the video if you are a big fan zombie. And without further ado, let's go into the treasure room. All right, we can fit in pretty easily. And oh, wait, okay. We got some iron blocks, some gold blocks. Okay, what am I supposed to get in here though? I have no idea. But as you can see, definitely a lot of iron. We got some diamonds and holy. Okay, we are definitely gonna not need anything ever again. Oh, and there it is. So inside the vault, we have the next potion of scary, which might be as good as all the diamonds and stuff. All right, that should definitely be good enough. Let me grab some gold blocks just in case we need it for later. Real quick, there we go. And now that we have this potion of scary, I guess yet again, let's go from 50% up to 60. All right, there we go. Scariness increase. And so what am I now? Oh, 
Uh, I've, I've grown another head and I'm legit a spider now. Yo, he looks sick. As for what I'm supposed to do next, I didn't get any messages. So maybe I got to go back up or something. But my goodness, I am deforming hardcore right now. Go to let me in the comments down below which stage in this video is the scariest. Because so far, I think the clown might take the cake. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Oh, okay. I got hit by something. A piece of paper flying the wind landed near you. Oh, and it's a flyer. A uh, flyer for what though? Costume contest today. Sign up now. Oh, and now the costume contest is literally 1,600 blocks away. Okay, give me one sec, guys. Let's go all the way there then. Oh, so it's another village just like the other one. And I'm um, gonna guess I gotta talk to this little guy. Yo, what's up? Little Timmy. He even has a little disguise. I want to enter this costume contest, but I don't know how to be scary. Oh my goodness, you're scary. Can you teach me? Um, yeah. Wait, how am I supposed to teach this guy? Oh, maybe a mask could help. Oh, okay. So we got a brand new crowd on the screen right now, which is gonna be with redstone and a potential jack o' lantern. Give me one sec. Let me grab that real quick. There we go. Get the crafting table down. And now with the redstone and the jack o' lantern, we get a scary mask. Doesn't have the best ventilation. All right, let's real quick bring this back to him. And so is he gonna put this on? Here you go, buddy. Oh, and he got the mask on. Mask Timmy. Thanks. I'll try it on. Could you show me how to scare someone? Yeah, I think I. Can. Wait, maybe I'm supposed to scare someone with them? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to scare these guys. All right, one sec. Let's try the Squidward-looking guy. Oh, wait, no, it's straight up as Squidward. Okay, uh, all right, Timmy, watch this. Three, two, one. Oh, that worked. Okay, yep, that's how you do it, pretty much. Now, let me try. Oh, 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 he's doing a scream, and... Oh, oh, that, that didn't work. Oh, I, I am, I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh. It didn't work. Yeah, we definitely gotta work on that. Spook up his costume. Oh, and now we have another crowd on the screen, which is for a bucket of ketchup. That might work. Okay, what we need to get then is, real quick, let's make a bucket. Get some milk. You right here. Let me get that. And since it's ketchup, all we need is some red dye. All right, red dye, a milk bucket, and now we get the bucket of ketchup. Close enough to look spooky. Should be good. All right, Timmy, here you go. Okay, I'll try it. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, that is actually a little bit more terrified. My goodness. Perfect. I think I'm ready. Pick up Timmy and bring him to the contest. All right, come with me, buddy. And now ride that spider story all the way to the contest. Oh, and we already got some competitors. Okay, we got a lot of people in costumes right there. And what? The heck? Okay, we have Scary Here, Brian, Scary Alex, Batman, and I'm gonna guess we're gonna go right there. All right, let's put you down right here, and he says, thanks for the ride. Talk to the organizer to get us enrolled. All right, event organizer, can we get in? Oh, two more entries? Perfect. Line up with the rest of the contestants. Okay, let's go up now, and I guess we just gotta stand right here. All right, folks, let's get started. The winner will be decided by how scared the audience gets. Here, Brian, you go first. Oh, okay, but, but, but he's uh, doing something. Did they like it? Yep, some people liked it. Alex, your turn. Oh, Okay, and that threw a bunch of Endermen. All right, Bruce the Villager, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, he just said boo. Nice, nice. Definitely wasn't expecting that. Now, Exostorio, it's your turn. Here goes nothing. Let's do a good old scream. Oh, and they liked it. That's gonna be hard to beat, little Timmy. It's your turn. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's all we much. Whoa, what an upset. Little Timmy had the whole audience scared. Whoa, well, now to decide the winner. Drum roll, please. Oh, well, who's gonna win? And Little Timmy's our winner. Hey, let's go. I couldn't have done it without you, sir. You deserve this. And we get the trophy, which honestly, uh, I'm not sure if the trophy should go to us. Let's let Timmy keep it. Because the main thing we wanted from him was the potion of scary yet again. All right, let's get a little bit far away and drink up again. Right click, scariness increase, and oh, we become a Frankenstein monster. Nice. Oh, wait, what? There's something coming from the cave below. Oh, okay. Now we got to track down this cave, I guess. Okay, let's go this way then. Oh, this must be the well cave. Okay, do I just jump in? Here goes something. Okay. Oh, and it's a lab, I think. Hello? Dr. Phil, yet again. Okay, I guess let's get this going. Oh, hello, Nestor. You look different. Scary even. I like it. Hey, thank you. We, we really are getting up there at 70%. Hey, want to help me out? I'm trying to make the scariest monster ever, though it will require some surgery. I have some test subjects. I have a zombie, a skeleton, a ravager, and you'll never believe it, a warden. Do you think you could slay the monster? Mobs? Um, sure. So he gave us a scalpel and body parts list. Uh, wait, what, what is this? Oh, okay. We gotta get zombie arms, skulls and ribcage, rubber legs, and warden skull. Okay, let's try out with the zombie arms then. How's it going, buddy? Let's grab your arms. Oh, and there we go. Okay, that's gonna be some arms. Don't mind me. Let me real quick slay you. And now we have the ribcage. Very nice. Oh, wait, what happened here? Don't just stand there and catch them. Oh, oh, oh did, did, did they just run away? Huh? Where, where did the warden even go? Oh, I think he's going this way. Okay, let me get a few hits. And down goes. A ravager. A little bit weaker than usual, but we got the legs, we got the arms, and now the ribcage. But where did the warden go? Let's go back real quick. Did he go down this way? 
Oh, there he is. I don't know why he's missing the middle part, but down goes the warden just like that in one hit. And now we have everything. All right, let's get back to the scientists. Okay, Mr. Scientist, we got the wooden skull, we got some legs, some arms, and finally the rib cage. Perfect. Now, Nestor, I need you to be my test subject. Do you mind becoming Frankenstein Nestor? You don't? Perfect. Just lay on that table and everything will be okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, um, how do I lay on the table? I'm gonna guess I just stand here. Here we go. Zombie arms. Oh, gosh. How does this work? Oh! Oh, we got zombie arms, yo! And again! Wait, what's now? Oh, and we got the skeleton rib cage. Ravager legs next. How are we gonna get Ravager legs? Oh! And now we got Ravager legs. Okay, we're definitely very tall. Finally, the warden skull. Oh! And now we're made of skulk. Nice. You look horrific. You see that door on the other side of the lab? I need you to go in there. If you can scare what's inside, we'll know that you're the scariest. I'm gonna guess it's that door over here. Oh, wait. It's like an empty room. Hello? Oh. Okay, wait. Am I supposed to scare this thing? D did that work? Okay, no. I think we're finding this thing. Okay, no, 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 no. Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. I am literally just trying to get more scary. Why is this thing so big? Okay, you know what? Desperate times. Let's get out the villager nose and take this guy down. Go on, villager nose. Get him. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna need some bread. Okay. Wait. What if I'm just supposed to scare him? Do I keep scaring him? Go on, Roars! Get him! Oh, and it worked! I think we sent him flying! Now he should be gone! Congratulations, you're worthy of the scary potion! So with that being done, we scared the Ravager finally, and now we get the next potion of scary. So this is still 70%, so let's right-click real quick. What happens now? Oh! Holy, that's a lot of heads! 80% scary, and now that we're 80%, it looks like we got a new mission to go to a sleeping villager. All right, let's go up now. Okay, so sleeping villagers somewhere around around here. Gonna guess all the way over here? Oh, this might be the house. Okay, how do I talk to this guy? He's now upside down. Do I like right click that? Oh! Zzz, pillagers are evil. Zzz, try dashing inside of them. Hey, okay, this might be a good moment to use that ability I got earlier that I didn't show you guys yet, but I have a dash ability. So, let's real quick press it. And, oh, it worked! Are we inside now? Inside of the mind of a villager. We're in the good dreams. Oh, wait, am I supposed to, like, kill the sheep? Oh, they become red sheep. Okay, so now we're supposed to scare him by giving him a nightmare. All right, that kind of makes sense. Let's real quick take all the sheep down. No, wait, that's so many sheep. It's like counting sheep, but the opposite. And last one right here. There we go. All red sheep. And so what happens now? Build his worst nightmare. Oh, I mean, he was already dreaming about pillagers. So what if I build a pillager? I don't have a lot of blocks. So hold up. I think I have an idea. We're going to make the smallest pillager head and maybe we can make a small villager and make it look like this guy's attacking the other guy. That's going to be his body right there, I think. And oh gosh, this literally looks so awful. Let's do some fences right here. And what if we give him an iron axe? That might work. I mean, that kind of looks like an iron axe. Yeah, that should be the pillager. All right, let's press the confirmation button. And does this create a nightmare, maybe? Oh, okay, what's happening? Oh, we brought pillager in. A uh, pillager, looks like. Oh, it's his nightmare come to life. The pillager's destroying the nightmares. Oh, wait, am I supposed to take this guy down now? Okay, one sec. Let me real quick and get you out of the way. Oh, gosh, wait, it's a way stronger pillager than usual. Okay, I am literally about to die. Let me throw a few noses at him. And down he goes. Villager might be scared of the dark. Okay, now I'm supposed to make it dark. I'm guessing. I gotta turn off these guys right here. Okay, let me real quick stack up. And that's one off switch right there. Oh, and there's a lot of them, actually. All right, one sec. Gotta make this place literally as dark as possible. Well, some light parkour. I think it's supposed to take me all the way to the top. But let's make sure not to miss a jump by doing that right there. Okay, let's get to the top. And I think these might be the last ones. Oh, that worked! Yes! The villager's waking up! Oh, that worked! Yes! Now we've woken up the crime villager. And the good part is that from him, we get another potion of scary. So, real quick, let's take that and now this is gonna be 90 percent oh we're like a nightmare ghost so now we get the message saying pillagers have been bullying villagers give them a taste of their own medicine gonna guess that's what this map is for so now we gotta go 3,000 blocks straight this way all right give me one sec let's use the dream walking ability and get all the way over there and we made it okay so after a bit of running what the heck is this place am i supposed to talk to you pillager guard yeah no if you want to get in here you'll have to pay me oh oh um okay uh, i'm supposed to give him 20 diamonds uh, can i scare him nope that did nothing. Okay, 20 diamonds it is. Well, on the bright side, we actually already have some diamonds. So here you go, buddy. I did get them from the ball earlier. Let's give him those diamonds right there. And he says, all right, before letting you in, I'm going to get kicked out. So get me a car. Oh, wait, what? So now we got a brand new crouch on the screen right now, which is for a car. All right, that shouldn't be too bad. I guess let's go ahead and make it for him. Okay, let's real quick get the iron right there. Put some redstone. And now we get a car. It's literally car keys of Minecraft. I'm not even going to question it. So do I just give it to him? Here you go, buddy. Perfect. In you go. Oh, and he's zooming off. <laughs> What? 
Yes. And so now we go inside, I guess. What am I supposed to do in here then? Oh, wait, did I scare this guy from the outside? Am I supposed to scare you guys? Okay, yep, we're supposed to scare the pillagers. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna come in as a ghost. And let's do some scares. All right, that's another pillager scare. Oh, and I got the hint. Pillagers are scared of heights. All right, let's pick you up. And I have an idea. We did get the dash ability, so let's go all the way up and make me fall. Here we go. What do you want from me? You need to find an end portal? Uh, yeah, sure, sure, why not? There's one in here under the fort. Please just put me down and I'll show you where it is. Oh, that's pretty easy. Put you down and he says this way. Lead the way, buddy. Oh, it was literally right here. Head down there? I'm uh, sure. Okay, and so now that we're down here... Oh, it's already lit. Okay. Wait, so this might be the final challenge, guys. So I guess without further ado, let's go inside and get to 100% scariness. Here we go. Haunted Forest. Home of the scariest monster. Oh, okay. That is a realistic dragon. All right, guys. Time for the final battle, I guess. And so there's no better way to fight this dragon than with, of course, the villager nose. Go on, villager nose. Get him. Oh, gosh. It barely does any damage, does it? Wait, could I technically scare this guy? No, that doesn't work. Okay. Literally, only way I can fight this guy right now is through the nose. This has to be the goofiest dragon fight. Like, what the heck is this right now? All right. Let's get a few more hits in. Oh, he's almost dead. Come on. And down he goes, just like that. And so now that the dragon's down, uh, did he drop anything? Oh, there it is. And that should be the last potion of scary. And so with the dragon down, let's drink this and finally see what we become. One more drink. And oh my. And now that's 100% scary. Congratulations. Challenge complete. Anyways, with that being done, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. And here's a video just like this one. Bye, guys.